Hi, so we're back in Fusion 360 and we're going to take a look at uh, creating ribs. Um, so let's go ahead and create a sketch and we're going to create a sketch uh, of this plane on the ZY plane. And we're just going to create an L shape uh, to kind of demonstrate a situation where we might want to use ribs. Okay, so we've got our two rectangles. We're going to go uh, 0.25 inches uh, thick. And we're going to make this uh, 6 inches high. And then we're going to go ahead and make the other side uh, to match. So I'm just going to go ahead and reference the first dimension here. And we're going to go ahead and reference the second dimension. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and trim out the interior lines to make one contiguous 2D area and finish sketch, and then we're going to go ahead and extrude. Okay, we're going to go ahead and extrude, whoops, click profile, there we go, and we're going to extrude 12 inches. Okay, so what we have here is a situation where we have this, this shape, you know, we have this L shape, and let's say that we're 3D printing this and the material isn't going to be strong enough, right? So we might want to, we might want to go ahead and add some reinforcement in the, in the, uh, in the form of ribs. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to go we're going to make the contour of our ribs. So we're going to go ahead and construct an offset plane. Uh, and to do that, we're going to we're going to go ahead and select uh, the plane that is kind of uh, uh, perpendicular to the shape that we have, and we're going to go ahead and off that offset that one inch. Okay, so here is our plane, and it's one inch offset. Now we're going to go ahead and create a sketch on that plane that are on our offset plane. So you'll notice that we're drawing one inch in from the side, which is kind of arbitrary, but uh, but it's what we want to do. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we want to bring these lines in. Uh, so we want to be able to create. We're going to use a spline to create a, a contour for a rib. So notice that we're the spline tool is not snapping onto any of these lines because they're not in our sketch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to create, project, and then project. And we're going to go ahead and click on the line here, the interior of that L shape, and then click OK. Next we're going to go to the spline tool, and we're, I'm just going to create an arbitrary uh, spline shape to kind of demonstrate uh, what we want to do here. So, so we're going to go in. Whoops. Double click to create. Notice I went, oops. Notice I went a little bit too low there. So let's go ahead and that up here a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and finish sketch. So notice now that we have this contour of our rib uh, that is going to be supporting, um, it's going to be supporting our uh, shape here. I'm not, I'm not super happy with the contour, but it's going to work for our rib. All right, so let's go ahead and go to create and select rib. And we're gonna go ahead and select the curve of the contour. And it defaults to 0 0.25, 125 inches. Uh, I believe that's because I entered that in earlier. And we're gonna go ahead and click okay. So there's our first rib. Now most of the time what we'd wanna do is, you, you might want a single rib, but most of the time you'd want more than one rib. So let's take a look at using a pattern to then uh, distribute additional ribs to, to additionally strengthen this wall here. So we're going to go to Create and go to Pattern, click Pattern. And notice this defaults to Faces up here. So we're going to want, instead of Faces, we want to go ahead and choose Features. And we're going to go ahead and select our rib. Um, we're then going to select a direction. So in this case, we're going to select just, a, just this uh, edge that is perpendicular to the rib. And then we're going to go ahead and just, uh, just kind of drag over um, and notice that we're going to get to uh, 10 inches kind of quick here. So minus 10 inches. Now this is 12 inches total and 10 inches puts us an inch back from the other side. Let's say that we don't want three of them. Okay, so in this case we're going a distance. Let's say we want, um, let's say we want 10 ribs. How about that? Quite a, quite a lot of ribs. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, so there we have it. Um, so let's say that this was going to get printed in, uh, let's say that this was going to get printed on a printer. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, right click on our body and do create component from bodies uh, as we do. 
And then we're going to right click and go physical material. Expand the physical material. And we're going to go to plastic. And we're going to go ahead and do um, uh, ABS plastic. And drag it over and drop it right on the top of it. Okay, so there we have it. Um, there's our rib tool and using the um, pattern to create additional ribs. Uh, best of luck.